Back Like We Never Left BDA, One Piece Chapter 1012 is unfortunately not out. So what we have here is a prediction video. There are a lot of open storylines, open plot lines going on in One Piece right now. And there's no chapter this week. So per usual, what I bring to you guys is what I expect to happen in the chapter. Again, as I stated, there are a bunch of open plot lines. So we're going to touch on a bunch of different things. But I, I don't know. I think based off of what's been going on with Luffy and Zoro, what has to happen here is pretty obvious in in my opinion right but before we get there please take this opportunity to subscribe to the channel maybe you've watched a few videos and you enjoyed them and you haven't even realized that you're not subscribed so take this time out hit that sub button drop a like as well and let's talk about what could happen in one piece chapter 1012 first off disclaimer we don't read spoilers here so if you've read the spoilers don't try to sneak your spoiler in as a prediction and say oh ooh, i i called it no we can tell so please if you've done that don't say anything about the spoilers if you have to put spoiler alert so people that have read the spoilers as well they can engage in conversation but people that haven't they know that a spoiler is coming let's just you know have some respect for each other right okay so 1012 first you have to look at chapter 1011 chapter 1011 was an interesting one and you could say that about so many one piece chapters but this one it felt like it was two halves and while both were good pretty good they were handled so differently right like for instance we had kaido and luffy law removing himself from the rooftop we have luffy and kaido just clashing and going at it we had the hint towards the will of d with kaido and luffy talking about smiling and we had luffy and kaido using advanced conquerors hockey and we had this discussion in another video about arm and hockey or rather rio and advanced conquerors hockey and whether or not kaido is using rio and this topic is a very interesting one because a lot of people say oh it's so obvious what's going on here here. and then if you go through a comment section where it's talking about advanced conquerors you have 10 different answers or 10 different interpretations of what's going on some people may say that's really bad because it's been explained poorly some people may say well that's really good because oda is keeping us guessing who what i'm saying here though is that there are things that still need to be fleshed out and i will drop that video talking about advanced conquerors and rio and what i think is exactly going on but for right now what we can confirm is that luffy and kaido they're each using advanced conquerors against each other and they're not touching very similar to whitebeard and what roger was doing so before we move on to the big mom stuff when i think transpires there let's talk about luffy and kaido really quickly because some people have this in their mind that luffy and kaido it's nearing its climax and for, for some reason i don't feel like kaido is even worried yet like he's still having a great time so i think some of that fight continues showing us some clashes between luffy and kaido i just don't think luffy has enough in him still even based on how much damage Kaido has taken to defeat Kaido 1v1. That's why I think Law returns to the rooftop, even Zoro and Kid. Where Luffy may hold him off for a while, but it's getting to the point where it may seem dire. I've been saying this, really dire for the Alliance. And we may think, oh, it's over for Luffy. And then he makes his comeback. That always happens. So that fight isn't over. And that's going to be continuing in the background. Now let's transition to the other things. What I was referencing at the beginning of the video, saying based on what Luffy's doing and what Zoro's doing, there's somebody that feels left out. There's there's an odd man out here and it's time for Oda to touch on it and that odd man out is obviously Sanji. We haven't seen much of him ever since that decision where it was either to go to the scabbards or to Momonosuke and we felt like okay what makes the most sense is probably the scabbards but Oda may throw us off and go to Momonosuke. He's not with Momonosuke and obviously he wasn't with the scabbards so there was a secret third option. I have a video that I'm working on because what's been the conversation which is kind of ridiculous but hey it is what it is right what's been the conversation is that okay there's no longer a monster trio it's a monster duo then there's sanji jimbei if yamato joins possibly her that's very disrespectful to sanji but i understand it i get it based on what zoro and luffy are doing on the rooftop sanji has to do something and that's why i'm inclined to believe it's time mr prince black Light, we need something now i'm not gonna jump again and say sanji's gonna show conquerors hockey but there's something that sanji has to do i think bare minimum is defeating a commander now people are gonna say why are you comparing sanji and zoro this is when things get toxic well no we're not trying to get toxic here i'm just saying based on the narrative and how things have played out throughout the story they've always had comparable things or comparable feats right even if you play zoro above sanji every single time it's always been comparable where you understand the, the the hierarchy luffy zoro sanji or luffy sanji zoro however you feel about it it's always been around the same tier but for luffy and zoro getting a bit more than sanji but sanji doing it in different ways it's time but what can sanji do to catch up that's what the video i'm working on can sanji catch up 
to Luffy and Zoro? Is it too late? Luffy still has a lot to accomplish. I don't think Zoro is necessarily done, but based on what he accomplished on the rooftop, I mean, God it's insane so when you look at all that if not this chapter the chapter after that or maybe the chapter after that we have to see mr prince do something see his decision and then we transition to jimbe jimbe and who's who oda has been delaying this or not delaying it really not showing much of this at all like we've been waiting to see what's going on with who's who and jimbe how does who's who know jimbe who is this person right it's not gin Right? We would, even though I would love for Gin to return, it's not him, but we've been waiting. And that, I think, outside of the rooftop stuff, outside of the Sanji stuff, I'm really interested in what's going on there. Again, there's so many open things that's going on. We have the Conjurer stuff, Orochi, not dead, CP0. Uh, we have, remember, we're still on a floating island, and it should be landing in the capital anytime soon. So then we have the Momonosuke and Yamato stuff going on with Momonosuke. I think he needs some help from Yamato to figure out how to use those clouds. Then we have the Brook and Nico Robin and Black Maria stuff. But what I want to talk about here is the big mom stuff does big mom actually help the star hats going forward because kid is there ulti's there page one just got bodied what does ulti do ulti based on what you know we know about her she's gonna attack big mom now what i can see happening which would be insane is if ulti headbutts big mom amnesia again oda has been mentioning this thing over and over and ulti very headstrong <laughs> she could definitely try to headbutt Big Mom, and that could lead Big Mom down a very scary path again. The dichotomy of Big Mom is one of the more interesting ones in One Piece, and Oda likes using her because she's unpredictable, and Oda likes being unpredictable. So I have no idea what's going to happen if Big Mom retains her actual self. What does she do? Because I understand people not liking mothering mode, but man, initially I didn't like it. I wasn't feeling it. I was like, ah, another way to nerf Big Mom. But when you go back and, you know, as as a One Piece fan and a content creator, there are times where you don't like something and you're like, okay, let me go back. Let me try to make sense of this because I could be wrong. But when you create content, you, you do some a lot of self-reflection and say, well, I could be wrong. Let me go back and see if this is justified. And mothering mode is 100% justified, right? And for Big Mom, what she always prioritizes is food right food 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 and so a kid under 10 feeding her food that she really enjoys she's gonna be really endearing to that character there are a few ways this could go one is obviously with ulti and then that could spur an amnesia thing but ulti is definitely attacking big mom but if she retains her consciousness i don't know okay kid is right there now kid is going to attack her does she say whoa kid 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 hold on i'm on your side kid right <laughs> or does she still attack kid and retain her love for tama but tama's a part of the alliance so we're in a quandary right now and not really sure what's going on what's gonna happen but that's how oda likes it because again it's really unpredictable i still think cp0 doesn't make a move oda may try to highlight the impending doom with the island falling on the capital there's still stuff going on with queen marco and king that we got to touch on at some point based on where we've seen so far that's been left out so just simple deduction sanji's not gonna to help Jinbei. He's not with the scabbards. He just left Black Maria. Not going to Momonosuke and Yamato. Not going to the rooftop. I think him engaging with CP0 would be interesting, but I think that happens later in the arc. The only logical thing is that Sanji either, well, I don't think even engaging with Jack and Inarashi and those guys, I don't think that happens. The only logical thing that's holding up Sanji right now is Sanji at some point would have to clash with commanders and that's the thing that's the only thing i can see like i said king is the bare minimum for sanji to show something that's comparable to those guys those guys being luffy and zoro so based off deduction sanji should run into a commander queen or king but perispero is still there as well so it's all interesting right it's all interesting i can't wait for it to play out guys give me your thoughts what do you think happens in chapter 1012 as a sanji fan right and as a zoro fan i really need sanji to do something like I I need that because he's fall he's lagging behind. It's starting to it's starting to upset me. But guys, give me thoughts. Make sure to like the video if you did. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Follow me on Twitter at Brago D Ace. Follow me on Instagram at Brago D Ace. Thank you to my patrons. I appreciate you guys all so much. Guys, like, subscribe, and I shall catch you in the next one. Peace. Start doubting me, I felt lost. I